Hello and welcome to Six Tips to Six Figures with me, Natasha Clark, mindset and business coach for female entrepreneurs just like you listening to this video right now that want to scale your business soulfully without the hustle and the freaking overwhelm. So here's my six tips. I'm going to try and keep it nice, short and sweet, but you know I like to riff and you know I kind of go off on different tangents, so do, um, do excuse me if that is what happens. Right, number one. First tip, stop freaking hustling. And how I've kind of created these six tips, I should have said this first, was I'm looking back at the old Natasha. I'm looking back at her struggles and what she would love to have known where she was growing and building and scaling her business to what the Natasha Clark knows right now in front of you. So it's coming from a huge amount of experience, a huge... of mistakes, falling over, the wrong things at the wrong time, all of this, okay? It's coming from a wealth of experience of the good, the bad, the ugly, the happy, the sad. So number one, stop hustling. You have to learn to master the energetics. The energy is everything. Being in alignment is so much more potent than doing all the goddamn things. Because you might be thinking, oh, I need to go live more. I need to get on podcasts more. I need to send emails out more. I need to post more consistently. I need to make sure that I'm all the places all of the time. TikTok, podcasts, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Like name the absolute, you know, snapperjack. I mean, let's just freaking start creating some, okay? You feel like you've got to be all the places, yet you're doing all of the doing and it isn't creating the results. Because what I learned is when I really mastered the energetic side, really getting into alignment and doing what actually lit me up and what felt good, that is when I got the greatest results. And a great example is when I took a week off, not last week, I believe the the week before that, when I was poorly, I took a week off and my business still grew. I still got revenue every single day. I still got paid every single day. My um, my DMs were still full of people that wanted to work with me and interested in my online programs or joining the tribe or working one-on-one with me, right? My business didn't fall to pieces and I wasn't doing anything in my business. I couldn't, I was poorly. <clears throat> but because I've mastered the energetics and the energy behind when I go live, I'm here, I'm all out, my energy's here. When I'm creating a post, it's there, the energy is there. Did you notice that the week I was poorly, I pulled back all my, I didn't post anything. Why? Because my energy wasn't behind what I was posting because I was poorly. And to me, being authentic and being in alignment is everything. So of course, I'm not going to post something when I'm not feeling very well. So the first one is stop hustling. Because for you to get yourself to six figures and beyond, you need to master the energetics. That is, at, that, 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 hence why that is number one. Because if you are not working on you, if you are not doing the shadow work, the belief work, if you're not doing the work that's actually really what creates the results, then that is why you're feeling stuck. That is why you're at an income plateau. That is why things are feeling so hard for you. That is why when you're posting and nothing's happening, you're sending emails out and no one's biting. You're doing the most amazing offer, the most amazing launch, and yet nothing happens. That is why. The energy behind what you do, and I don't mean fake it to make it, I don't mean just pretend you're high vibe. No, I mean the true alignment. Really, when when you're here and you wanna to get to here, and I'm just, I'm just gonna use six figures as, as literally just like an example, but it, it could be anything. The gap right now is you think it's strategic. You think you don't know how to do this, or you're not doing this enough, and you're not doing, and listen, there might be an element of truth. I might look at your business and go, absolutely, you need a social media strategy, or what's your strategy when it comes to selling, or what's your strategy when it comes to what offer you're gonna put out there? Like, what's your strategy? It might be that you don't have any freaking strategy, okay? Then we need to implement that. But the majority of the times of the clients that come to work with me, one-on-one, they really have the strategy there. It might need tweaks. But more importantly, it's the energy that's behind that strategy is off. Their belief's gone. They're not believing in themselves. So of course, if they don't believe in themselves and you're not believing in the price that you're 
you're putting out there and the offer that you are and the transformation that you're offering, then nobody's going to buy. Of course. I mean, absolutely. That sense. You can sense energy. You can sense when someone's coming from a lack and needy perspective. You can sense that. When someone's very confident and comfortable and owning their shit and knowing their prices and going, this is what I offer at this price point. What is it you're struggling with? This is the solution. If you want it, great. Here's the payment link. Let's freaking do this. If you don't, that's absolutely cool, right? So number one, stop hustling. Number two, stop offering everything. You're there going, okay, right, I'm going to offer one-on-one. Oh my God, that didn't work. Okay, I'm going to offer um, a group program. I'm going to do a membership. I'm going to do an online course. I'm going to do a mastermind. I'm going to blah, 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 blah. You're going to burn out. That's what's going to happen. You're going to burn out. You're not going to get the results that you desire. Because why the intent of why you're doing what you're doing is because, I'm going to take a pretty good guess here. Why? Because exactly, I'm coming from experience talking here. When all of these things that you think that you should be doing is because you're seeing other people do. You're seeing other people, ah, they're offering this or they're doing uh, this at this price point or they're offering this and this at the same time. But you don't know why they're doing that. And more importantly, you don't know how. You don't know the back end of what's going on. You're just seeing the front end. All you're seeing is them putting out this offer and it absolutely selling out. But you don't know the back end to that. So... What I would say to you is focus down. Get known for that one thing that what it is that you do. Get get known for that. Then you grow it. I didn't have online courses, a membership site, uh, working one-on-one, group programs. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, my business intensives. I didn't have all of those when I first started my business. I didn't have all of those when I was growing it to 5K, right? I'm now where I am in business five years on, actually over five years. Now I have all of those things, right? Because I know what to do when it comes to a membership. I know who to sell an online course to. I know when someone comes to me and they're going, I really want one-on-one and I'm not afraid to go, one-on-one's not for you right now. I had this conversation with my DM yesterday. Someone wanted to work for me one-on-one, ask the price, ready to pay. But then when, for example, we were discussing what it is that she actually needs, I diverted her to my online course because she wasn't ready for that one-on-one just yet. She What she needed to work on was social media strategy. Brilliant. It's my online course. Build your online business, right? Boom. And then once she was ready for that, then she can come into that. So it's knowing, it's having that awareness of your ideal clients. Like we're in business not to just sell, okay? Um, you wouldn't be in my world, you wouldn't be watching this live right now, this video on the replay, if you were in business just to sell, just to make money, okay? You wouldn't because you it would be an absolute misalignment for you to come and follow me if that is exactly what you want, right? We're in this business. We started these businesses to help people, to transform lives as well as our own, as well as grow our... our own freedom lifestyle in regards to time, energy, financially, physically, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to get so focused on one thing and freaking nail that. Nail it. And then you can start to look to really kind of grow that. And it depends what level in business you are. It also depends um, how warm your audience is. I've got one-on-one clients that come to me that are making 5k and they're like, Tash, you're my girl. I want to double this. And I'm like, okay, where are we at? Tell me where you're at. How warm is your audience? Are your audience full of your ideal clients? Are they? And I ask lots of different questions. Once then I can gauge where they are in business, I'm like, of course we can do two offers at one time. Because your audience is that engaged with you, they're not going to get confused. You have dialed in so perfectly to your ideal client. They feel you when you talk to them. Whereas if someone comes to me and they're like, Tash, I don't really have my idle client. I don't have this, 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 and this. Then of course I'm not going to say, let's go all in and let's launch a group program and let's do this, a mastermind, right? No. So what I would say is get focused on offering that one or two things and get really dialed in on that. Number three, focus on growing an engaged community. This is not spoke about enough. And I love this. I'm going to use this as an example. Um... Carrie Green from Who Created FEA spent two years not selling anything, just creating her community, just literally growing her online presence on Instagram and Facebook so that when it came to her selling at that point, two years on, 
she had such a warm and engaged audience. Do I think you need two years? Absolutely not. But that's just an example of put your audience needs before your own. Stop thinking about, I want to make 10K and I've got to sell, 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 sell. Uh, 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 that is icky and that is not what's going to get you to 10K. Trust. You really want to create and... I want you to see your audience as a community. I want you to see it as serving, like focus on serving. For me, where I hang out is Instagram. Like that's like my jam, right? Especially my DMs, you're always me speaking to me. Um, the majority of the time on Facebook, you'll be speaking to me, but then probably you'll be speaking a lot to my team. So for me, where I hang out is Instagram and of course my Facebook business page, right? And I um, use that content and put it out into YouTube and podcast that might be coming soon. <laughs> I have heard you guys, okay? I've, you guys have been speaking about me doing a podcast for many, many, many years now. But anyway, TBC, that's all I'm going to say on that one. Um, so I want you to focus on your community and serving, serving. Not every time that you show up on social media is it about you selling. How about actually serving your audience? How about showcasing yourself as the freaking expert? You know, sharing your story, sharing your testimonials, like you embodying this success, you embodying, for me, what I teach my clients how to create a life of freedom. Financially, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. That's what I help my clients create. So guess what? I embody that. I take days off. I stroll through and ground myself in nature. I spend so much time having fun with my son. Like that to me, like today I had the best time pitching my house. Um, I done food shops. I um, sorted my son, meal prepped, all of that. And then I came to work and I was buzzing. The music was going, I was feeling good. Why? Because I'm living my truth. I'm living what I freaking love to do. Like this to me isn't work, right? That's number three. Number four, my fourth tip, get out of your own head. Mind can be your worst critique or it could be your biggest cheerleader. And when I was growing my business, boy, was it hard. Boy, was it my biggest critique. And what i done from that is really kind of grow on that mindset, really kind of work on my beliefs, my patterns, how I was thinking, how I could change that. And for me, in the last year, I have discovered this modality of rapid, th rapid resolutional therapy, right? And it has absolutely changed my freaking life, personally, as well as in my clients' lives. How you're able to talk to unconscious mind and reprogram it so quickly. Like years of beliefs that I have had about not being enough, not being able to hit that money milestone, not... Um, thinking that I can have it all, feeling guilty if I earn X amount of money, feeling guilty that I'm working as well as being an amazing mum, feeling guilty that I have the most amazing relationship, like kind of feeling a bit apologetic about it, like, oh, can life, can life really be this good? And then when it's not good and personal stuff comes up and I'm like, oh my God, it's going to affect my business and just all of it, all of it kind of created in one. The fact I get to use this skill to be able to transform my clients' lives is just freaking awesome. And it excites me every time when I start a new journey with a client, I'm like, Ooh, what's your limiting beliefs? And they're like, I'm, I'm stuck with this. I'm, I'm stuck at an income plateau. I feel like I'm working so hard. I'm hustling and I'm not seeming to get the results. I hear you talking about it feeling really easy, Tash, and I just do not feel that way. I don't feel that I can hit that money goal. I see everybody else achieving these 10K, 20K, 30K months, and I just can't seem to get there, and I just don't know what it is, and I feel so stuck in my head. I'm like, ah, do not worry, I've got you. I have got you. And I kind of wish, you know, that, that I, I discovered this a long, long time ago, personally for myself and also for my clients as well. I, I, it's just, it's an absolute game changer. Being able to reprogram your unconscious mind through all the conditioning that you've had, the reason why you think the way you do, the reason why you have the thoughts, beliefs and patterns that you do is from years of conditioning. So it's not the conscious mind that is making these decisions, it's unconscious, which goes without you even thinking about. Right now, I'm not thinking about my arms going around like this, but unconscious is. And unconscious doesn't know the difference between fact and fiction and past and present. So you having, oh Tash, 
I've been in the income plateau for like the last year, so it means I'm never going to be able to do that. I've had so many clients come to me and go, Tash, I'm stuck at 5K, like I'm stuck. Everything I seem to do or I seem to go down or hit back down to a thousand pound, I go up to 7K and then I go back down again, and up and down, up and down. And there's no stability, there's no safety. I'm like, it's okay, we just need to reprogram unconscious mind. Unconscious mind is doing its job, but I've got you. We can create these shifts. So that's number four about get out of your head, right? Get out of your mind, reprogram that. Number five, and it's really interesting that I said six tips to six figures and I'm going to say something completely controversial to that. But remove pressures, remove the deadlines, remove the attachments and the external validations and the meaning. Remove the pressure of six figures, Six figures, seven figures, eight figures, whatever your goal is, right? Remove that pressure. Because as soon as you remove that pressure and you're not looking to the bank balance or the Range Rover or the dream house or the fill in the blank as your external validation and really working on here. This has been transformational for me. Really working on the worthiness, being enough, feeling deserving of the money that's coming in detaching away from the outcome so if this launch makes x amount of money or signs this many people it means this but also detaching away from the negative if i don't make this much money if i don't sign this much my clients detaching away from this trust me is going to be the biggest quantum leap for you to get to your money goal that you could ever do if you could take anything away from this this video is that detaching away from the meaning of that external validation. You're not a badass because you drive a Range Rover. You're not a badass because you have six, seven figures in the bank account. You're not a badass because fill in the blank. You're a badass and you're enough because innately you are enough. But knowing and having that confidence comes with that inner work, comes with the shadow work, comes with the belief work, comes with the reprogram the subconsciousness, comes with the worthiness, feeling like you are truly enough and not having the external validation, validate that. I'm enough because she said I'm enough. I'm enough because I just made my client 50K. I'm enough because, have you seen my bank account? No. Knowing that you're enough just as you are, feeling truly in alignment and how that comes was playing more in your business. And I wish I had these tips when I first started. I wish I had these tips as I was growing my business to six figures. Because I was so warped into six figures, you've got to have six figures. And I felt like I wasn't enough because I didn't make six figures in my first month in business. I didn't even make six figures in my first year in business. Okay, I think it was like 18 months into my business before I hit six figures. I'd actually have to look at my diary on that one. But you get my drift. So as soon as you detach away from what the actual six figures means is when you're going to be in true alignment. That is when money is going to be a magnet to you, okay? Because you're not needing that client. You're not needing that, that money. You're not needing and not in survival mode of, oh my God, I need this. As soon as you become like that, you're that needy girlfriend that nobody wants to date. So as soon as you work on yourself and feeling that you are enough and not attaching that to the outcome of it, trust me, you're going to quantum leap your money every single month. Absolutely. So I want you to play more. Have freaking fun. Take time off and do the things that actually you enjoy to do, right? And number six, hire a coach and a mentor. Do not do this alone. Please, please, please. I want you to expand your thinking. I want you to expand your beliefs, your consciousness, your energy, the possibilities, like get in the goddamn room, get in the energy, surround yourself with a coach and a mentor that has achieved what you want to achieve. Let me caveat this by saying in a way that you want to achieve this, right? So for example, if you're watching this video and you're like, Tash, you're my coach for me. Oh my God, I'm vibing this. And you message me and we're having chats. You're like, I love the hustle. I want to work really hard. I want to feel undeserving. Like I want it to be hard. I'm like, mm -mm -mm. I'm not the right coach for you. I'm not. Or if you're saying, Natasha, just, it's just a strategy I want to focus on. And I'm like, but we need to work. No, 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 I don't want to work on me. I just want the strategy. It's not going to work. And I am very confident and say it with absolute love that I would say to you, this isn't the right fit. Like we're not, this isn't, I think you need to find another coach. Okay. Because for me, my basis is on soul strategy. What I teach you is how to lead with your soul and support that with strategy. Because strategy is important. Okay. We can't just sit and manifest a thousand clients coming to you. 
You can't just sit there and journal your way to 100K. I'm sorry, but you can't. You have to marry that with taking the action, taking the inspired action. Likewise, can you hustle your way to there? Yeah, sure, you can hustle your way to success. There's plenty of people that have done it. Is that really what you wanna do? Is that really why you started your business? Because I certainly didn't. I was working so hard when I was modeling, right, for the money that was coming in. Yes, it was good money, but I worked freaking hard for it. And I wore that as a badge of honor. I was like, I'm a hustler. You know, I'm getting up at four o'clock in the morning. I'm working on myself. At the time, I was doing a modeling agency. Like, I was wearing that hustler badge. Where was it getting me apart from burnt out, exhausted, and broke? That's where it was getting me. So until you can switch that switch so that you can understand that success really comes from freedom. Success comes from feeling in true alignment, that you can manifest your dreams. You can do, be, and can create anything you freaking want to. But it all comes from that belief. And for me, what really did change the game for me and change the way I thought was surrounding myself and being in rooms, in energy, of women that have done what I want to do in a way that I want to do it. So, you know, the coaches that I work with now, for example, I want them to show me how in ease and flow and how the un, the impossible is possible. That's what I want. I want to be around people that are, you know, managing being a boss mum as well as a badass, right? And this is what I teach my clients. You can have it all. You get to have it all. You get to be having fun. Trust me, as soon as you start having fun in your business, you're going to make more money. And surrounding yourself with someone that shows you what's possible. And the clients I speak to, they they say, Tasha, I invest in you because of your energy. Your energy is just off the Richter scale. And not as in, I've got, you've got to be the loudest person in the room and you've always got to be high vibe. Because trust me, I'm not always high vibe, but I always bring it. The, the energy inside of me, the inner, the years of inner work that I've done, and especially in the last two years, 18 months, that I have really tuned in and mastered the energetics is what's really created the most incredible transformation personally as well as in business. So the best thing when I think about hiring coach and mentors, the best thing for me is yes, of course, I cheerlead my clients every time they like we, we celebrate everything, everything like we, I'm creating a whole new vibration of everything deserves to be, you know, you've done this today, woo, oh my God, you've done this, yay, like everything is, we celebrate. But also on the flip side of it, the dark side of it, you know, business can be hard. Business can feel tough, personally, emotionally, energetically, it can. You know, stuff can come, we're humans, we, we have human experiences, so it may come with your kids, you may not have slept all night, your family member might have just told you some bad news, you might have got some health bad news yourself. Challenging things are going to come up, but having that coach that is able to support you, hold you, hold the energy for you, create space for you to be able to say anything, there's nothing I haven't heard before, there's nothing that's going to shock me, there's nothing that's going to hurt my feelings. I have been doing this far too long now. My point is to be able to help support you and serve you. And that's on and off screen. You know, that is why we ha I have a container for my one-on-one -on -one clients. In that, I mean that we have our one-on-one -on -one calls um, bi-weekly, but also I give you voice note support in Voxer. Why? Because I want you to feel held, not babied, held there's two different re they're, they're two very different things you know being baby and being held are very different things so holding that space energetically for you to feel whether that's something that's come up for you and it's hard or something strategically or something personally having that someone that's got your back has got your corner that believes in you i believe in my clients at this level when they're only here. And my job is to bridge that gap. My job is to get you believing in yourself as much as what I believe in you. That is my job that freaking sets my soul on fire. Like, do not, do not, do not do this alone. Please do not do this alone. You can collapse time. When you are paying to be in the energy in the room, in a container with a coach, a mentor, that has done that has experienced, that has gone through everything you're going to come through. And I truly believe in the last 
18 months when I really had to do the deep inner work, it's so that I can teach from that experience because I had never experienced this level of deepness before. So now when my clients, and they have, and it's so interesting that the universe then delivers clients that are like, this is how I'm feeling. I'm like, oh my goodness, I know exactly how you are feeling. I know exactly how we can move this and change this and cat literally catapult you to where you want to get to, right? Um, so what I teach my clients and what I want to teach you is how to lead with soul and support with strategy. And know that anything is possible and you can create that dream freedom lifestyle doing what you freaking love to do while the bank balance is going up and you're feeling aligned you're feeling fulfilled you're feeling like you are lit that is my job done so if this has landed with you and you're like oh my god tash yes i want some information about working with you one-on-one -on -one, then send me a dm um either here on facebook or over on instagram or if you're watching this anywhere else maybe on my youtube channel then come and follow me over on um, Instagram at, at Natasha Clark Coaching. Send me a DM about working, just put the words private coaching. And let's have a chat about where you are right now, where you want to get to. Let's see if this is actually a fit. And let's talk about the next steps after that. Look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.